Hi, welcome to MK Knowledge Center Visual Basic second video on labels using with the code. Let's start Visual Studio 2010. New project. Labels. using with the code the code click on ok ok in uh, previous video uh, we changed the property directly uh, from property window but today we will do the same thing uh, using coding ok drag and drop a variable sorry label drag and drop a label ok uh, double click on anywhere in the form to get into the core window ok we will do this, uh, this later uh, select the label 1 and remember the name of the label is label 1 ok you can even change the name of the label ok like uh, 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 well uh, uh, use lb1 ok use lb1 as a label 1 ok you can ch you can give your custom name also ok uh, click on the uh, double click on the anywhere in the phone okay it will show the code window okay here is uh, form load here it is a private sub and form load you have to write the code uh, within the uh, is inside the form load uh, the code inside the form load will be executed when the form load when form, when form will load okay remember two things uh, one is uh, dot and second is equal to this will play the major role in the uh, coding ok use the first of all you want to change the uh, properties of the label so use the property uh, label name ok as label name is lb1 and dot and uh, you uh, dot after, uh, after dot you have to use the property name uh, we want to change the text ok then use text property uh, equals to use equal to and use give double quotation and inside the double quotation uh, give you a uh, text welcome user ok now run the program uh, and you will see the uh, result ok here is the welcome user is uh, the change the, te the text of the label will be changed to uh, welcome user ok uh, the second is dash color lb1 dot bsp back color black color that is equal to uh, you can you can here you find a drop down window you can select any color from here ok I am selecting blue ok now run the program you will see the uh, label background color will be blue ok now use 4 color lb1 dot 4 color that is equal to white uh, if you if you uh, keep on practicing you can directly write the code without uh, looking uh, the drop down button like uh, lower color dot white ok you can easily write or uh, if you uh, get any confusion you can use the drop down as the help uh, now run the program you will see the text color of the label is white now ok uh, uh, now use the image ok I, I want to give the image to a label ok uh, before giving the image uh, we, what we need to consider is uh, the 
location of the image uh, which may be changed in a different aspects okay so we want to locate the image in our system resources so that it will use uh, with uh, no problem okay uh, there is a two way we can uh, uh, place our image to in our system resources one is uh, click on my project double click on my project and uh, select here resources and uh, here select uh, add resources uh, and new image that is jpg png gif okay uh, give the name of the image and click on add it will take uh, more time to do there is another way uh, which is easy uh, select label one and uh, click on image and select second option project resource file and click on import uh, select all this image and click on ok ok and thereafter press ok ok see uh, the all images are added to our system resource now ok now we can use uh, these images in a uh, programming ok as we are added uh, uh, these uh, pictures to my project in that resource and the name of the image so we have to use the co we have to code this as same okay uh, uh, we want to change the image lb1 dot image that is equal to where we have stored my project resource and the image name okay uh, no need to use for my project we need to we can use my and dot uh, resources and dot the image name put enter okay now run the program see the background of the label is changed okay uh, as i told before uh, before video the size of the label is small that is why now the whole part of the image is, uh, is not uh, not looking okay we want to change uh, the size of the label so that we can view uh, some pa uh, the more part of the image okay the uh, to change the um, uh, less, uh, uh, custom size as a label so we want to use uh, auto size auto size property uh, so use auto size property lb lb1 dot auto size auto size that is equal to false ok now so auto size of the label is false so we have to give the size of the label so we have to use another property uh, size ok uh, uh, for the measurement of the size uh, to give a size uh, of a size is uh, height and width so we have to use the those two, those two properties height and width to uh, to give the uh, size of the label use lb one dot height equal to 250 and uh, lb one dot width width equal to 250 sorry I have written wrong with spelling it ok ok now run see the label size is increased to 250 into 250 ok uh, uh, thereafter uh, uh, place the uh, label to in a particular location so we have to use location but uh, in location there are two properties called uh, top 
and left we have to use top and left property to uh, place the label in a particular location l b 1 dot top that is equal to 0 and l b 1 dot uh and dot left left equal to 0 see uh, the label will go to the top corner here the label went to the top corner because the top corner coordinate is 0 0 so if you want to place the uh, label somewhat down from the top you have to use the coordinates like this make a top equal to 100 increase the top value so that it will move down okay see the label uh, went down and uh, it is in a top corner because uh, uh, the left value is 0 and uh, it is went down because the top value is 100 okay if you um, if you want to place the uh, uh, label in some word forward so you have to play make change the Uh, value of left so that it will move for uh, somewhat forward okay see uh, the label went to forward okay uh, here the text is aligned in a uh, top so we want to change that into center so we have to use the property is text align that is lb1 dot text align that is equal to you can uh, find help here uh, that is uh, content alignment dot middle center okay now run see the text uh, is welcome user is at center and it is looking good okay okay uh, if you want to change the font we can't change directly font because the font size and uh, styles are read only so you can change that uh, fonts by using uh, uh, system settings okay uh, go to my project and uh, select settings and here you can create a new variable that is new font style new font style okay select type is system drawing font okay the scope is user and you can uh, uh, for in default you can give a value that is okay uh, i am looking for okay this and bold and size would be 36 click on okay no 36 is not a good font color 26 okay okay now come to the programming window code window okay uh, where we have uh, created our settings my in my project settings and the name of the setting is new font style we have to use this uh, this variable to change our label one font lb1 dot font equal to my dot as i told earlier we have don't need to use my project we can use my my settings settings dot new font style click on enter now run the program you will see the difference in font see the the text family is changed size is changed and it, it is become bold okay 
okay uh, the last property is ancho okay select so lb one dot select ancho that is equal to ancho style bottom ancho style left none right top you can select uh, anything from in it from this okay select none you will see the difference when you maximize or minimize the uh, sorry maximize or change the size of the window you will see the difference okay i maximize see this uh, it went to some somewhat down okay if you change the size you will see the difference see for this uh, the answer is used okay uh, in this session i have told about uh, uh, told about text back color four color image auto size and so text align location size font uh, uh, these are the common things in all uh, all tools so we practice on these tools and some additional uh, um, uh, uh, properties will be arranged in different uh, tools okay like in button uh, button timer you will be see some different okay uh, let's bye friends okay thank you